I had a mate tell me that like if you take a kayak and you turn it upside down you can wear it as a hat because it's capsized. Anyways, three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the BNA stream today on this fine 27th of Mar Mar March May 2020 uh Oh my gosh, what year is it? 2024? Are we up to 2024? It's already May, I don't know. I'm I'm out of the loop. Uh, my name is BNL. Welcome to the BNL stream. I hope you're having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, I am... I, I kept saying it's like, oh, you know, I actually had a good, nice, chill week. And then I got like... I will, I will, I will proudly admit I am a sufferer of like little mouth sores from time to time and occasionally... It's in, it's in my throat. That sounds like so disgusting, but it's just like, it, it's just, imagine it's like a lurgy, but it sometimes hurts. That's it. That's all it is. Uh, so if I ever go, ech, ech, at some point, that's just, that's just me trying to clear my throat a little bit. So <laughs> anyway, let's dive into today's game. This one is a very odd one. I have no idea who got it for me way back in the day, but uh, I have it for some reason. Um, so let's, let's give it a crack. Wow, check it out. Smooth transition. Smooth transition and my mouse is on screen. Hi mouse. <laughs> but uh yeah, mm, this one this one's a weird one because I really don't know who is the market and I was the market apparently. I was the person who somehow got this game and had to play it. And for me as a kid, I actually gave up. I really struggled with this one. Oh, did I just hit Oh, you'll never know who that brand was cuz it's uh you can hit L2 to skip. You'll never know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, developer. Oh, publisher. Uh, but... <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, this is, um... D Dog's Life on the PS2. A hip games. There you go. This is Dog's Life on the PS2. Uh, I think this was only ever released on the PS2. Dog's Life is just a game. It's kind of unhinged. But it's, it's a game, and it's a, uh, if I had to describe it, it's a, uh, a glorified collectathon. Uh, let's see if, uh, as well, if I can wait long enough and we get a demo to roll up, because, um, maybe that'll explain things or not, I don't know. But, I think this kind of came out at the peak of, like, dog games. There's just lots of dog games all around. Also, hold on, did my mention I have a oh, munchlax in the corner there? Yeah, hold on, where's my munchlax in the corner? Did I goof up my overlays? No, he is there, he's just really hard to see. Trust me, yeah, he's down there somewhere. <laughs> it's just hard to see because of the trees. Alright, um, anyway, let's dive into it. This is a, this is a, um... Ah, uh, how do I describe this game any more than I've already done? Well, let's just, like, start with the, the intro cutscene. Once upon a windy morning, uh, also, uh, the game lets you turn it into widescreen mode, so that's why we're playing a wonderful 16x9. But, uh, we're gonna have an opening cutscene that's not meant for widescreen, so... Hi, I'm Jake, and this is Jake the dog, and... No chores, what's the no human? Clothes. How cool is that? Ah, yes, it's great being a dog. Watch this. Oh my... Ooh. I would never like I I feel like if you if you have a dog <laughs> that consistently just farts and poops everywhere man you got you got a lot of training you got to do Oh yes she will be mine I shall impress this woman with my bodily functions <laughs> The gulp very nice It smells nice out here in the country, don't it, Dwayne? You cannot be serious, Dwayne. The country's You cannot be serious, Dwayne. <laughs> what a what I'll a wonderful voice. Oh, no tissue, wow, man. Wow. Wayne, can I play with them nice doggies? For pity's sake, Dwayne, are you nuts? They're full of terrible diseases. But I like doggies. Do you Wayne. remember when that one dog got no. COVID? Once. 
It was like a very, very like rare case, but I was like, oh, that, that was a bit of one. It was more than it was a carrier, though. Oh well. Anyway, uh, you fall out of the van and uh, the game begins, I guess, eventually, after it loads. Oh, my head. What the... No. Daisy! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the... Must rescue Daisy. But how? <laughs> but how? Oh my gosh. Hey, Jake. How's it hanging? Come on. I, I... I'll race you to the top of the hill. I'll race you oh, to the top of the hill. Oh my gosh. So insensitive. But I need to get back in shape. Dude, he's got jaundice, I tell ya. Hold on to your pants. Here I come. Alright, there's not as much talking going on. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, okay. Thanks, game, for telling me how to play the game. Thank you. Um. So, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yellows to play the P marking game. That just happened. Um, so yeah, pretty much, if I had to describe the game, it's just a collectathon. You've got uh, 18 levels of well, stuff. Jake, looks like I beat you fair and square. And there's things to do in every hey, level, but uh, Jake to you, Stinkfoot. apart from a very so, mild bit of backtracking, there's not really game? that much going on. Are you kidding? Does a dog poo in the woods? Oh. Okay, here goes. Ready, Jake? Less talk, more action. Follow me, Jake. How many times is he gonna say the name Jake? Good dog. Come on, Jake. Uh, thanks, bro. Thanks. Um, Good boy, Jake. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I would really. <laughs> is he just walking in a loop? I thought he wandered off to some like weird spot. Real good, Jake. Hey, there Jake. We go. What's up with you? You okay? You look a little funny. The dog nappers mentioned a place name. What was it again? I've got to go see Gramps. Mum says he's as crazy as a nudist at the South Pole, but I think he's cool. This is this is what people normally do. Why anyway, do bones are your collectibles. Uh, collect 125 Maybe stars to defeat Bowser. I mean, her. bones to, to, to now. beat Bowser. Um. Bones. That's what it's all about. But uh, but yeah, pretty much just just think of this game like it's just Mario 64 in its in its structure. You've got these kind of levels, and uh, you can see there's like things to sniff. That's the colors there, and uh, you got these little bones. Can you get all the bones? Can you get all the colors? Who knows? Uh, there are purples gets me a bone, and the more bones, the better. There are all these purple scents. Uh, there's all these other scents. They all result in bones eventually. No bones about it, um, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's a bit weird. This is one thing that I, I don't really like about the game is, uh, imagine Mario 64, but you can only see and collect coins if you were in first person. It's just like you're standing out here, the game's nice and vibrant, you got like a bunch of, no, it's bright and colorful, you can even get run over by a car if you want. You can jump onto the car and I'm pretty sure, do I remember the combo? Yes. Hit left, right, yeah, down, and you just you defecate. If you try it again, you kind of just fart. You got, you got to build it up. There's like a counter in the game that's counting. Oh, are, are you ready to Whoa, drop a new one? Uh, you've also got this, which uh, it looks so similar to any other scent, but trust me, it's uh, its own thing. Walk up to this guy. And he's got like one bone. That's basically telling you that the dog of this level... That you get to challenge at some point. Three more reds for a game of doggy do. If I find them, the local dog shows me some tricks. Thank you, Jake, for explaining everything. Now get all eight, and I can race the local champ. But pretty much, uh, there's a little bit of a numbers game going on, where like the more oh, the, also pizza is sometimes your food. Yummy in the tummy. But you gotta watch out what you eat, because sometimes it, like, really hurts you. Uh, you have health in this game, but all it does is that it just kind of makes you sad. And slow, but sad. Must play with Also, uh, like any good, uh, <laughs> collectathon, it's gonna start with basketball. Oh. Oh, brother, I need to practice. Alright, come on, man, you got this. Ugh. I can do better than that. Eh. Oh. Bite me! That was almost in. Come on, come on. There's like a lot of things. Oh, you. Oh, I thought I just threw that into it, the window. I suck big time. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out like, how did I even own this? 
This is like a childhood game that I didn't have. He shoots, he scores. I didn't have Didn't any like go. attachment to at all. I just owned it. And I was like, yep, cool. Ah, so, so I close. believe you got to get three baskets to get a bone. Bite me. That was We're gonna try and get there. all of them in uh, this playthrough. Not not today, on its own, but certainly over the course of uh, everything. We'll try it. We'll try and do it all. Oh. Um, as a bit of a graphic showcase, I feel like this game's okay. That For a 2003 there. game, and it's like, okay, you've got the widescreen, it sort of kicks into 60 frames a second when it wants to. Uh, the shadow on the dog is pretty alright. Actually, the shadow on a lot of things oh, yes. in this is pretty JT okay. Boy rules. One more to go. The environments are pretty okay. There you go. Oh, that bone was just in there. Oh, yes! Sniff my butt. This dog is bad. Oh, and your neck will break quite a lot of times in this game. There's definitely a lot of things where you're like, hmm, okay. So we got this kind of barn area. You could probably tell that maybe there's something glorious up the top. But how do we get up there? Well, you know, just a little bit of uh, the old ingenuity. <laughs> the old tugging of the heartstrings. Um... So if I had to really, I, like, I don't even know what the, um, like, the sales pitch for this was. Like, what what exactly convinced them to go, ah, yes, dog game. Um, but if I had to say, I would probably say dogs were very marketable at the time. I named the stream title Who Let the Dogs Out, which uh, is not about dogs, by the way. I just want to add. Uh, uh, of course, there's a bone up here. Bone horrific. There you go, three bones. How many bones are in this level? I think there's like eight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's pretty... Uh, oh yeah, we got to sniff things as well. I forgot about that. Alright, we've challenged this guy to a race. The need. the need to feed. How do you win a race? Three, well, a two, trail of... Uh, go. Tile. Oh, the, the, the start of that music also throws me off. Um, just follow the trail, and uh, as you eat more, well, it's technically a score. When you get to the end, it's like, who ate the most? So you only have to get like half of them, really. Um, but this is where I introduce the retro achievements uh, set for this, which is sort of punishing, very punishing. All of these race ones, or almost all the race ones, uh, it asks you to pick up every single one of these. I think there's one of them where it's like, you're allowed to miss like 10. But it's it's cruel. It's just like, yep, you need to have a certain number of these. Now, uh, winning this race lets you control that dog for like a minute. And you're supposed to figure out, well, what do you do with that dog? Always a pleasure to hear from that girl. Oh, I love to watch other dogs. Fortunately, it's pretty obvious dude. what you do with this guy. You just go through a little tiny hole and you're, you're good. It's really weird as well that you even get to control these other dogs. Like, they don't talk. No one in the game talks except for you. You're the most talkative dog out there. You're, you're like Meowth. You're like Garfield. Knock over garbage can. Yes, moldy sandwich. Well, that's not a moldy sandwich, that's a battery. You know who would do well with a battery? Let's wander around. Um. <laughs> Actually, I can throw this because I want to I witness this dialogue. But there's a, if you wander over here, the music stops and some guy starts playing his guitar. And then it's like, it's really loud for a guitar as well. That's like, or oh, he's going to explain a scenario right here. Oh man, what a bummer. My amplifier batteries are dead. Like, what am I supposed to do? Hey dog dude, bring me a battery and I like toss you a bone. You dig? You dig? Hmm, I can dig for bones, but this sounds much easier. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um... So he sort of says, like, okay, he gives you a trail, and the idea is that you can follow his footprints, where somehow he finds the batteries. The batteries are all glowing kind of orange, which is very easy to mistake for the yellow ones. Far out, dog, dude. But I need three more to power oh, up my amp. <laughs> it's about, about to, like, you. throw oh, batteries into the lake. Oh my gosh, that is hanging off. Bro. 
I mean, I, I guess he would have picked it up then, but still. <laughs> also, yes, I have to witness a cutscene of him putting it in four times over the course of this level. Let's see how we go. Um, probably this first level is actually one of the more open levels. It sort of narrows itself down later on. Uh, that is my poop. That is stanking the world up. Uh, I can squeeze in here and pick this up. Alright, this is a, um, the music is tense, but this is, a uh, even, even worse than tense music. It's Simon Says. Uh, this minigame occasionally lets you learn tricks. Um, Your move, my man. But you gotta copy the moves, so you gotta go, oh, is it down, and then up, and then down, and then up. Oh, hi, Pigeon. How you doing? Also, I guess it teaches you about some of the other moves, but, like... I don't think there's really much opportunity for most of the other moves in the game. It's just kind of as like, it's a feature. It happens. The most important part, though, is that you can beg, and you can actually do that with uh, people. And uh, it'll, uh, sometimes they'll give you food. Which is nice, because uh, occasion. Oh, hi, Pigeon. There we go. So now the game's like, oh, you're unlocked a big. And then he leaves. No bones about it. I said that one already, didn't I? Darn. I gotta do more dog puns later on. Hey, y'all. Miss Peach is talking at you. That's the radio. That's This is just diegetic audio, I swear. Uh, but yeah, this game, uh, it's, it's kind of unhinged, and I, I don't really know why, and it just kind of exists on its own, it's not like part of a franchise Careful. or anything, it's just a dog game. They just made a dog game. <laughs> Yummy. But I think a lot of people probably know of this one. Also, you can jump from high ledges and you'll probably, like, start to take damage? We'll start to see Jake over time, starts to hang his head down. He starts to get very sad about it and moves very well, slowly. Now, that was our own Loretta chicken meat from right here You're in just going to start Hill, stealing well everyone's know. food. Loretta changed her name to Peaches a few years ago when she moved out to Boom City to seek her fame and fortune. Good old Loretta. Why, I remember the time when... This is actual plot building, by the way. Horses. I think you forgot to press the button that turns on... <laughs> so, uh... So that might come important later. Also, is that... Yeah, I'm, I'm like trying to piece together. It's like, where's the that? That's just the dog. Horse, I tell ya. So, uh, anyway, speaking of retro achievement set, let's uh, jump into a mild topic of today. Um, so, uh, on oh, Saturday, yes. I actually Smells finally like released that Guitar Hero World Tour set. And, uh, as a. Oh my gosh. And as a bit of a post mortem. Thank you. Thank you, man. You're talking over my Guitar Hero. It's very important to me. This is a personal thing. Um, and uh, I guess as a, uh, yeah, as a bit of a post-mortem on mm, making the set, um, certainly it was a lot of fun. I actually really did enjoy it. Oh, uh, also, we got another game. This will come up a lot. A um, game. Let's mark the corners to gain fields and show that dog that I rule. Okay, it, it makes it sound very deep, but just imagine One. this is uh, like... Well, squares. You hit circle, you pee. If you pee on a spot, it becomes yours. Pee on all four spots at the same time, or any number of spots, because sometimes it can be differently shaped. And then it's yours. Uh, <laughs> retro achievements, every time this shows up, it's a challenge for... Can you do the peeing without them getting any points? And it's fairly simple. Other than sometimes it's a little annoying, because he's just like peeing like... All these other spots that, like, you know, you were just there. But you're always faster than them. So it's no sweat. I don't think you can ever clean back areas as well. But, like, he's just gonna claim, like, random stuff all the time.
Quick turn, quick P turn. Oh. There you go, easy. Oh my gosh, he's going, he's dancing, he's vibing. <laughs> and I've just metastasized some, <laughs> some food. You just have to kind of recall where that is in the level, but it's, it's usually not too bad. Um, usually. I think it was somewhere around here, maybe? I will find it eventually. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can just see it if you triangle. Maybe? Does it smell? I don't think it does smell. You know what does, does smell? This, <laughs> this battery just right here. Oh my gosh. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Finished de developing the set. And um, I definitely did enjoy the game a ton. Like, kind of going back to it. One part that I found very, very incredible about the game was that I've, like, I've been wow, playing the other games a bit. Clever little dude, dude. I'm a clever little Okay. Just, uh, let's see, uh, two more to get that bone. Uh, to get that bone. have bones. Oh my gosh. You okay, man? You good? He is trying to make peace, not war here. Dude, that fish is jumping, bro. Stop the guitar. Just catch something. Clap it. Clap it out of the sky, man. Also, yes, one of the batteries is just... Here, literally here. Out of sight. When I get that last battery, I'm really gonna wail. Sometimes I ask myself, is it worth it? <laughs> Me going through life. Uh, but yeah, no, I I definitely have enjoyed the soundtrack to the game a ton. Um, figuring out some of its mechanics is, is a bit here and there, but it's definitely like, you know, you know what, I, I knew what I was looking for, because I, I know this game, like the back of my hand, I, I, I know it a ton, um, or at least the Wii version, <laughs> but, uh, the, um, on top of that, like, after playing some of the other games, it's like, sometimes they've just got some sleeper songs here and there, or like, snoozers, not sleeper, um, I, I, I would, could do without playing Red Lottery, uh, I could do without playing, um, what's something in Zero 3 that's just kind of bland? Story of My Life is one of those. But I don't really think World Tour really has, like, that boring of a song. Um, yeah, this whole, like, part over here. Oh, yeah, you know, I had one of the batteries just lying here. Is it me, or does the jumping feel different in third person than first person? It's just like, oh, the color difference is like, oh, it's just so strong. Um... Just drop it in the water. Too cool, dog dude. You are the man. Here you go. Dude, that's been sitting in your pocket for like weeks. Is that how you put batteries into an amp? And then he's grooving. So we're already at five bones, man. There's only eight in this level, so... Also, he's purple. But trust me, that's just because he smells purple. That's not because he's... He's, uh, one of these, like, 26 cents. There's also bees here. You can steal their honey, I guess. Let's see, there's probably a lot of stuff around here. Oh, yeah, yeah, you may also find in some levels... Uh, just I a bone, underpants. a bone buried in the ground like this, and you only know it's here because it's just glowing. Mash, mash circle, and, uh, well, I mean, there it is. It's a oh, bone. Yes. Life is good. So that's six bone. We're nearly done with this level, and <laughs> we could just wander on to the next one. I think this will probably be a three-way game, I'm not expecting it to be, like, tons longer. Um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, I also felt kind of fun about like, you know, trying to figure out some extra challenges, extra things to do. Um, I hope they're all kind of in line and I really hope that ultimately at the end of the day, you know, people experience this game and go, Hey, yeah, you know, like this game actually was like pretty cool. Um, you know, add some challenges, add some leaderboards and really encourage people to just, you know, give it a go and see how it is. Uh, I do wish that it emulated better these days. There's a lot of quirky bits about it. Um, particularly, uh, the tool stage, you have to be in software mode and you have to have progressive scan turned on or else it just doesn't, 
like the highway just appears in the wrong place on screen. It's just, it's so odd. Um, hardware rendering one doesn't really mean much because the background is a video. I know, right? Um, I'm so hey, high. Jake, I've been expecting you. Gramps is drooling in his sleep again. Can you bark him away? That is a terrifying. I've been expecting you. So uh, you can hit square to bark. Ja oh, Jake, that ain't fair. Jake, you bad, bad boy. What? <laughs> you yes, told me to do it. <laughs> Ooh, oh, sorry, Jake. Um, do I feel like a hero? Here. Don't you realize that Daisy's been dognapped? Go back to sleep, Gramps. She'll turn up soon. I hope so. She's my best girl. Sleeping right in broad daylight. Mm -hmm. Daisy smelled so good. I must find that her. Is, that is exactly how you, you describe Jakey, your girlfriends let's see what or your crushes. She can do besides waking up a poor old man out of a <laughs> this poor guy dream. trying to do a three-point turn. Sit, Jake. Sit, Drake. Good dog. Stand. Good dog. Oh. Lie down, Jake. You think they could just like record like two lines? Good dog. Or three lines. I got a bone to pick with you. Nice moves, Jake. But nobody moves like my Daisy. That, Don't worry, Gramps. She's probably that. That that, that is swim. a good sound out of context. You're right. Cleanest dog in Clarksville. Smartest too. Say, Jake, I don't suppose you could track her down. I don't know what I'd do without her. Oh, what? That's, that's just a hilarious non sequitur as Simply well. Simply the best. Oh, there's the, the bowl. Wahoo! At last! There you go. Eight bones. Except we've also got to get the last purple, right? The purples give you one more uh, bone as well, so... Uh... Now, we've got a bunch of uh, map transitions about to happen if you go a bit too far in each direction. Um, I'm very certain you can find the purple somewhere. I swear there was like a button or something and it would like let you point in the right direction to find the sense. But we'll just wander around a little bit. Um, but yeah, yeah, there's some quirky stuff with how the game emulates and um, I do wish it were better, but it will get... Really It'll get better over time, I think, you know, certainly people will figure out the, the fixes or just something that's, like, general and just magically, like, you know, oh, you know, it just so happens to make this stuff look better. I'm not sure if there's, like, rendering, like, artifacts on, like, some things in this game, but it... Hey, they got the reflections right here. That's exactly how they looked in the original game, in the, um, on hardware. The music stops starting when you go next to this guy. It's like very odd for this level as well. I think I probably see a s stank on that hill. Oh, there's some inside here. I'm just looking for like purple things. No, it's just it's just that stinky kid. It's just a stinky kid. He's baited me, because I was pretty sure I picked up all the purple around here. Oh, it must be like behind a building or something. Yes, my poop can be seen a mile away. Maybe it's inside the barn. Hey, there you go. Totally was. One, two. There you go. Oh, nope. Bad jump. Eh. There you go. Sniff them all, another bone appears, I guess. Why not? Watch it. He'll get there, he'll get there. But you can see how he's like slowing down and stuff. It's just like, ah. Uh, kinda sucks when you start going really slow in this game. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, no, it, it was good fun to, to, to make. Um, certainly a, a fair bit of just arduous effort of, like, after you made the achievements, you know, stitching up the, uh, IDs back again, and then you do all the icons, and then you gotta manually click every icon to every achievement, um, make sure all the titles are properly capitalized, <laughs> and, 
all that jazz. Um, but you know, once you do it once and it's all good. Um, <laughs> I did get two, well, I got five, like, bug tickets, although it was really only two issues. We're gonna head in this direction, by the way, because, uh, um, there's multiple offshooting levels, but in particular, like, this path leads to a dead end. It's just here to, like, you know, be a level. You could very easily just miss this area as well. Whoa, that went straight through me. I was out chopping wood, and now I can't find my axe. Oh, what am I gonna do? Ah, it's a pit bull. <laughs> this sounds like a job for Super Jake. This is, uh, this is just regular Jake. Oh, yes. Smells like Man, a he's, basset hound. He's got a lot of poop next to poop. Maybe he left a footprint trail when he lost his axe. I bet I could find it. I mean, if I search this level hard enough, I'll find an axe somewhere. Although there's, there's a couple of these uh, these kinds of like quests, which uh, actually span across multiple maps. So you gotta you gotta be on the watch out for those. But generally, it's pretty alright. This level's straightforward, I think. Oh, I've sniffed enough butts to challenge the. Uh, like, there's something weird about his mouth here. Now he's gonna teach me how to sit and stand up and poop. Twice. It's now or never, knucklehead. Well, the problem is I committed. I've committed to the drop. When you risk a fart. It's now or never, knucklehead. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is so, like, ugly on his, like, legs, I don't even know. Um, but yeah, no, so yeah, if, if you're a retro treatments guy and you've got, like, plastic instruments you want to, like, you know, pull out of retirement, uh, give it a go. Give, give that set a go. Uh, I worked so hard on it, I'd be very sad if you didn't play. Like, legit, it's like, I don't know, I'm, I'm happy about it and I really want to share that experience with people, so. Unless I get sued by the Eagles because you're not allowed to m mention their famous songs, let alone, like, play them or have album art or anything. I don't even know, man. Well, he's taught me another move. Uh, we're not gonna get moves all the time uh, in future levels, but it just so happens that a bunch are next to each other. Oh, there's a mine up here. There's just two there. You see what I mean by, like, this... This level is a lot smaller. Evil. You're sort of seeing the majority of it right now. Stinky. Um, so they're like, well, how do we hide 50 of these next to each other? He's gonna mention cutting the cheese all the time. Uh, uh, for reference, Frontier uh, are famous for immediately after this game inheriting the Rollercoaster Tycoon license and releasing Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. And then, uh... At, at some point, they did Elite Dangerous and uh, Planet Coaster and Jurassic Park, and also they did Thrillville at the time. And Thrillville's a, a very, very curious bag, I'll tell you that. But they're like, they're a um, a good fun kind of company. I really don't know too much about them though, to be honest. See, this area would kind of Whoa, did something. Die. <laughs> well, look, an axe. What have you got there? A knife! This area is very cool, like, once you're not in first person. And that that's that's probably my biggest criticism of this game. It's just, like, when you're in the first person, you lose a lot of, like, the, I guess, the, the scale and the, the kind of playgroundy adventure of it all. And I feel like if they were going to do collectibles, there probably needed to be, like, some better way of going about it than just always be in first person, look for the particle effect. Coming at you with an X. Oh, okay. Oh, his neck. <laughs> Imagine a dog coming at you with an X. Whoa, thanks. Now I can finish making them dog cages for the dog catcher. <laughs> there you go, little guy. Oh. Come to daddy. I love my ass. Uh, should I really be doing this right next to him? He's about to, like, drop Call down on his daddy. foot or something. 
I love my axe. Oh well. Darwin's Come law. Was a theory. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, so I had two tickets. Uh, both are resolved now, so if you play the game, you'll probably not experience this. But it was like at launch, it was like. Um, oh yeah, the candles are your save points, by the way. This game doesn't auto save in any way. And that probably was like part of why. Why I didn't like fully beat it all the time. I feel like I went in here once and it was like nothing. I love my axe. Yippee There's a saw there, I guess. Come to daddy. I love my Yeah, okay. Axe. This guy doesn't shut up, by the way. He's just gonna love his axe forever. <laughs> um. So yeah, one of them was uh the um uh the uh practice mode was going off at the wrong time, uh, specifically for. Uh, vocals. If you ever did vocals, whatever I was using to detect that you're in practice mode was thinking that vocals was practicing. So I found a better value for that, and that was all good. And then the other one was uh, all the custom songs. I was using some like integer value. Um, I couldn't really find like a great like hash or anything that indicated what custom song you were playing, other than just a value that like didn't, you know, it was it was consistent enough and it changed. Oh hi there, Mr. Man. They said it couldn't be done, but I, Professor Ludwig von Schnitzelmacher, will be the first to send a homemade rocket to Pluto. <laughs> Thanks, Engine. This guy's been watching too many mad scientist movies. How many mad scientist movies are there? There's Frankenstein. There's probably a few others. I guess there's movies. Yay! Oh my gosh. Five. I'm standing four, right next to it. What? Three, two. One, Ooh. lift off! Uh-oh, it's a SpaceX moment. Oh no, my beautiful rocket! <laughs> I shouldn't have named it Voyager! <laughs> Oh, it must have been that 3-volt flux capacitor I used. 3-volt? I, I should have gone with the 5-volt one. If I can get the pieces back, I can repair it. Please, help me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yep, it's another quest where you gotta just bring back four of a thing. They don't even smell. you think they would smell like something. Or they actively said, yes, gray is the smell. Oh my gosh, I've just coned That's myself. Sounding. A piece of my rocket. Bring me the rest of them, and I will give you a reward beyond your wildest imaginings. That sounds like a pretty good reward. Uh, I, you know, I couldn't imagine, like, a child slave, but I probably wouldn't want one, you know what I mean? It's like, I, there's a lot of things <laughs> that I could, like, fill in the blanks that I don't want. Orange sense for a tug of war match. No! The goose! He's on the loose. This is a, basically a, I think this is a health check. Am I meant to just like take a, take a jump here? Thanks for a pursuit challenge. Oh, oh, oh. No, he's, he's making his way, he's making his way. And he's really going, ain't he? We'll get this duck. Okay, we ain't getting that duck. <laughs> Woohoo! I smell underpants. I like as well that they've got not only the buried bone right here, but basically all the sense for the challenges. If you ever fail the challenge, by the way, uh, you have to pick up all oh, the sense. My oh my gosh! You have to pick up all the sense relating to it again. Which is not that bad at all when, like, they're all just right here. But still. Doggies, start Tug of War is a button mash. And slightly a numerical button mash as well. Three, two, one. But it's like, just let. If your bar is bigger than their bar, it goes your way. It's a jam, though, I tell ya. 
It, it's really straightforward. Oh my gosh. Dude, the moves he does. Mm. This guy really needs a good fart. So I think that... no time. <laughs> okay. I think this guy is how you get this. Because he swims. He's actually a fast swimmer. You can chase a duck. There you go. Easy. You just have to, like, understand the property of the weird dog that you've taken control over. Mm, bones. Bones. Yeah, I, I guess I've, I've, I've had bones before. Well, I've never had... Well, I, I, I do have bones, I guess. Um, but yeah. Uh, hopefully the bugs are gone with the set. It's all smooth sailing. You can play it and it's it all works fine. Uh, definitely, I'd imagine it'd be kind of tricky for some of the drum songs in particular, but there's some people going for it. So, hey, you know, if people can do it, sweet. Now the question is, can people do all of it? Are people good enough to do both guitar and drums? Probably. And vocals? Probably. And the, the 11 oh, achievements no. that relate to playing one instrument and vocals at the same time, and one of them is drums? That, that's, that's my favorite, like, kind of challenge out of the bunch. Terrific. Uh, this is another one. Trying to get away. Oh yeah, this... I can catch it. <laughs> this... It's a tag challenge. You gotta tag the dog. If you're going for retro achievements, you gotta do this as quickly as possible, which is a little annoying at times. But it's like super easy because sometimes you'll just tag him like that. Yeah, it's not too bad. There's a stanky dog. Oh, can I get out of here? There we go. Whoa, that should clean out my sinuses. Uh, so where were we? Yeah, it was like somewhere up here. There we go. But yeah, uh, I don't know what exactly I'll be working on next. Um, I've got this idea of, uh, kind of giving a proof of concept, because there's a lot of shortcomings. There's, a, there's quite a bunch of things that I couldn't do in the set because you know you've got a limited set of uh, commands available and uh, that limited set of commands leads to a lot of repetition and just redundant command re redundant signals for just like trying to get to do things like uh, I wanted yes, to we are approaching liftoff one more piece bring it to me I'm pretty sure actually I don't know man you could probably like if you collect every single piece of your rocket together I don't know man you could do miracles um, but, yeah, like, uh, like one thing I wanted to do, for example, was, uh, detect that your money went up to a certain amount. So that I was like, oh, you know, if you have, like, $10,000, you go up a rank. So, okay, detect that you're lower than $10,000 in the previous frame and greater than or equal to $10,000 now. You know, that should be straightforward enough. And uh, the problem is that the money, the real value that you should be looking for, is encapsulated in a... Oh, you can also eat the skunk if you want to. Like, if it's some... Re oh, and he poops out uh, food. Not bad. And sometimes it's okay. I, I'm kind of shocked that it's sometimes okay. But, sure. Uh, we've pretty much seen everything up here. There's still one more piece of the rocket, and I'm, I'll point to where that is right now. But I'm also on the hunt out for those four remaining purples. I'm actually curious if that's like... They're just on the way back. Not too far. Uh, probably not, nah. No. Okay. The the missing rocket piece is in that, in that one room. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Oh my gosh, I hope this guy loves his axe. Come to daddy. It landed in the chimney! What a what a strange place for it to end up, but sure. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And I am dizzy, miz dizzy, wizzy. That's the one. Uh. But yeah, the um, the value for the money is uh, underneath a linked list. The linked list is basically like you have a starting node, and every node tells you where the next node is. You don't quite know how many nodes are in this list. And you don't exactly know where the element you're looking for is, except uh, next to each next pointer, 
is also now a hash telling you what type of thing it is. The world will so, <laughs> so if you want to know, like, how much money the player has, you basically have to go, okay, if it's the first, like, one, or if it's the first node, so check the first node, is the hash a certain value? And if it is, then... You know, you follow its value address and you'll find the, the actual money value. Done well, noble Kerr. And so, Kerr. I hereby present you with this astounding prize. A dog snack One from the supermarket. Bone? What gives? <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Have two. <laughs> I was only joking. Look at that double prize. Boy, some people will promise you the moon or Pluto. My favorite planet. Bones. Who could live without them? Two bones is fairly rewarding, Simply though. the best. Now, uh, I think I've got a good hunch of where the remaining stuff is. Do we have any uh, lingering food? Nah. Why would they not put a secret behind the waterfall, though? You know? That's just classic. And it's like this, like, kind of interesting, like... Windy... Also, it's a Zelda rules where you just jump. If, if, you know, if you walk off... Oh, maybe not. Dead. Actual destroyed off that one. Sometimes it's Zelda rules. Maybe I shouldn't trust Zelda rules. Because my guy is, like, dying. And if he's dying, I'm just gonna, like, jump all the time because he, he gets way more uh, horizontal momentum off a jump. I don't think you're actually like barred from walking anywhere or jumping really when you're hungry. It just kind of slows you down and is annoying. But yeah, they chuck some purples along this path because why not, you know, <laughs> stuff the player. Uh, so yeah, so you would need to effectively like check the very, very first position. And go, is the is this the right spot? There's a bone in here. Jake nice loves bones. Um and and then if not, then look at the first like this is how the rules go. It goes, check the first position, look at the next one. Is that the right one? Then, you know, read the value. Or look at the first node, then look at the next one, then look at the next one, and so on. And the idea is that like you can't store, like you, you you're not looping. You're effectively writing a Are lot of instructions. Kidding? that continue to say, look at the first one, then look at what's afterwards, and afterwards, and afterwards. And the reason is because you have no memory in these achievements. You basically have to write a bunch of rules that can happen sequentially with, like, one singular, like, accumulator that's being incremented. Um, so, it's a lot of, it's a lot of repetitive... Well, if you're writing this out manually, it's basically just impossible. Oh, boy, it's super boy, arduous. Boy. And if you're doing this with a script, well, it's okay, but it's very easy to hit a character limit. And uh, just a bonus point, let's say the list was like five nodes long. Very short, you know, you're only looking at like five things. But I wanted to know that in the previous frame, the value was less. And sometimes, actually all the time, when you update that value, it moves around in the list. Which means I'm not even looking for an address and then looking for what was it less on the previous frame and, you know, larger on the current frame. I'm now having to go look through every possible position in the list that it could have been in the last frame and also every position it is in the current frame. I've just multiplied. I've got the Cartesian product of two different bits. Uh, it's it's a lot of, like, that, that adds up so quick and it's just infeasible. So, the trick I've done is I've based it off a presentation value, but it's not really the best value and uh, it certainly isn't quite ideal because there's a lot of like progression related achievements that I just couldn't do so it did lead, me, uh, lead to a leaner achievement set though not as in in terms of quantity but in terms of the actual complexity of what I'm checking for so at least it's got that where are these two purples ah there we go I forgot you hit R1 and he actually kind of looks towards the direction that you need to go in. There you go. You see what I mean? It's just like... Uh, those just don't render, really. 
They only really appear when you're kind of way close to them for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. So. Oh, yummy! Yeehaw! Give me one more. Give me one more. Do you love your axe? Yippee! I okay. Come on, man. You gotta love your axe. I love my axe. Thank you. I'm out of here. I'm checking oh, out. Daddy. I'm checking out. <laughs> I take the water. So back to the farmhouse. This is like a like an open world kind of game, but no, it's just it's just a bunch of like interconnected hubs. There's nothing really too much about it. Uh, we can now head to the village. There's actually two branches off here, uh, but the um, I think the the field is probably where I want to go. Yeah, the field is where I want to go for the moment. Let's head there. The big field. I love how I'm bang on like oh my gosh hi there watch out man there's a dog in the way of your one lane road well blues gets me a bone and boy do i need both i feel like this would work better if this was in third person this one particular bit because it's very easy to get lost on some of these blue challenges as well but uh i mean it's a very straightforward time trial there's not really too much about it oh yes nice and stinky does it uh, oh my gosh, okay. There you go, that's a bone. Easy. Oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I I'm working on the thing. We'll see how it goes. I'm not going to really promise or say anything in particular about how it's going to work other than hopefully using just regular old scripting and allowing that functionality in a way that kind of makes sense we'll see how it goes it's an RPing challenge but the sheep in the way for some reason mark the corners let's go three two i guess at least every level has got its own dog Did you just like miss the first p this one's a bit trickier because, uh, well, I mean, the description originally was mark the corners. You can see that uh, it's more than the corners. As long as you catch him not doing anything too wacky, you can do this perfectly. Man, this poor guy, he's got such a terrible strategy, though. Such a terrible strategy. I'm one step closer to Daisy. Alright, so what does a sheepdog do? Well, probably exactly as you think it does. It directs sheep. This guy, uh, for some reason, he's left his uh, pen open. Like, right open. Although, uh, I guess every single sheep is just casually, like, here, so... might have to direct them one at a time. That's why they give you, uh, what is that, four and a half minutes? Well, let's try and get them. Rounding up sheep. Uh, so anyway, enough about, uh, retro achievements and stuff like that. Let's talk about, uh, some, uh, everyone's favorite topic, me complaining about another hardware unbox video. That guy just walked straight through the fence. Me complaining about another hardware unbox video. Uh, this one came out, uh, last week, so it sort of was available when I did the, the stream last week, but I didn't really watch it in and soak it in to, like, quite understand what was going on. Um, but, uh, to describe what the video was, um, I think it was titled, uh, let me see how it is, and it's still up, Would 3 dv Cache help intel cpus intel fourth gen cores versus cache now the way that they they're basically like the argument that the they're making is that you know more cache would improve your performance in games it'd be better um and as a short answer uh, yes more cache no matter what given that there's absolutely no you know compromises 
and also cost aside, uh, it's a good thing. Because it's, 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 I mean, I guess one could say, like, oh, when you've got more cash, then there's increased, like, you know, look up time. I guess it's that, but it's, it's so negligible, it's not too bad right now. So, like, you'd have to dramatically increase the size. There's, there's processors with, like, tons of cash on them. It's actually, um, I think someone noted as well, there's the Intel 5775C, which was a 5th gen processor where they actually slapped, like, um, S was it SD-RAM on it? Like, it's like a whole 128 megabyte module, which is more than, like, even, like, you know, the Ryzen 7800X3D. Wahoo! Mission accomplished! Wow, it's totally I'd not never a different voice actor. So Almost like she was possessed. What? There you go, boy. What? <laughs> Why would you comment on that? Close the gate. Come on, oh, man. Dad, burn it. I knew I should have got a gate for this here pen. Oh. Yeah, oh. Okay. That's what it's all about. <laughs> and then you shove your dog aside. I've heard sheep dogs can be pretty stubborn. Not really too sure what's up with that, but sure. Um. So that's a fun oh, Intel processor, and actually, if there's one thing, like, if you want to compare, like, older ones, cache for, for clock and stuff like that, that's probably a decent example of just, like, here's something that does it. It's, it's different. It's not quite the same, like, cache that's on an Intel processor, but sure, okay. Um, I should probably go first person because I'm missing all these wonderful purples that are in my vicinity. <laughs> Yummy. Ooh, distinct. Dude, I'm gonna come back for like every single bone that's stacking up in this mm, corner here. Stinky smells. It's what life's all about. Uh, oh, but anyway, so take the 14th gen example. Uh, the argument being made is that the Intel uh, i9 14900K has 36 megabytes of uh, level three cache on it. Now there's a level two and level one cache on the cores themselves, and that is not shared between cores. But level three on uh, on Intel, it's actually shared between all the cores. Every single core can access the exact same uh, cache, and that's actually how the cores can communicate fairly effectively. They'll put stuff on, into the cache so that another core can go, oh, there you go. That's the thing. So, that's that's what they leverage. Um, Did something die? But also, cache can just be cache. It just, it's just leverage for any reason. And uh, the... Uh, 14700K oh, has a uh, 33 megabytes of cache, and the uh, 14600K ah, has 24 megabytes. So, the argument being made was, let's try and control for as many variables as possible. So they set the core clocks to 5 gigahertz. They turned off the E cores. Uh, I assume the power limits either were set low enough or didn't really matter. Oh, <laughs> yummy! Just a bone over here. No bones about it. Did I say that again? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Is that a bone wow, over here? Fantastic. I didn't say they put uh, 125 bones in this game without like any like. Hmm. Hi there. How you doing? Oh, every time I try to repair the scarecrow, I get attacked by birds. Well, I won't give in. I tell you, private dog, this means war. Better get rid of those birds for him before he has a heart attack or something. So I think <laughs> this this little minigame or whatever, I'm just gonna spam square. Like just keep honking. Eventually when he walks up to this. He's safe, I think. That's me on a Tuesday. Success! That ends their reign of bird poop! Couldn't have done it without you, Private. You are a first-class bird dog. Oh, brother, this guy is one sad case. Oof. Private first-class dog, I hereby award you with the Order of the White Bone. Is that white? Jake loves... Bones. I like how the, the, the thread is literally a, a, just a crow poops on him as well. It's not even, like, swooping in or, like, attacking him. It's just, it poops. I smell underpants. If I find eight of these, I can do the digging challenge. The digging challenge is one of the worst things committed I'm the king of to, <laughs> to anything in the PS2 game. 
So unlike the peeing game where you press circle on the bits, the digging game is a row of bits and you literally have to just mash circle. It is also a numbers challenge. The retro achievements is absolutely brutal on this, by the way, because it expects you to win with your opponent only getting to a certain amount. And for some of the later levels, it's just like, man, good luck if you don't have a turbo controller. Unfortunately, I'm not doing the retro achievement today. I'm playing casually. There you go. Have another bone in your bowl. I think the only other thing we need to do is just, like, get a... Oh, there's one here as well. But other than that, we just get the purples and move on. Yeah, these levels start getting a little bit quicker once you've got your strategy down pat. But to be fair as well, this level is very, very straightforward. I think I just got splatted. This is just Mystical Cave. Mystical Cave, teach me your ways. I'm smelling stuff over there. Might as well turn over there. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so the control for... for for clocks, they control for power, they turn uh, off the E cores, and uh, they'd specifically do an 8, a 6, and a 4 core test, and obviously the I-5 can't participate in the uh, 8 core, but that's okay. Um, and uh, the I and also, weirdly, they set the ring bus clock to 3 gigahertz, more on that in a bit, but okay. Um, but uh, they control for a bunch of these things, and... Uh, what was the results they saw? Well, they saw in some games, it didn't mean anything. The game ran the exact same on all the processes. But once in some games, when you turn down the core clocks, uh, you would end up seeing... Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, you turn down the core count, you start to see sometimes there's a... Uh, there's a there's an advantage. There's like the, the processor with the more cache. The i9 does that anyway. little tad bit better. Therefore, cache definitely helps. If it's like 5%, that definitely means a ton. Um, uh, the problem with this video is a handful of things. First of all, it is making a big assumption that if a processor with 24 megabytes of cache performs worse than the processor, or rather, a processor with 36 megs performs better than the one with 24, then having 48, 72, having way more cache helps even more. And the answer is... It depends. You might have already hit that limit, and you suddenly don't see a benefit. Uh, it's also an implementation detail, in the same way that, like, VRAM... Uh, this is, this is like, you know... <laughs> someone's gonna say this is just, like, cope or fanboys, but it's, like, in the same way that, like, VRAM does depend on how your driver stack and your software uses it. Sometimes the amount of VRAM is perfectly fine. Sometimes it's fine on one card and not on another. Sometimes oh, it's fine... Favorite just because one card has more RAM, sometimes it's just not fine at all. It really does depend, but it's also oh, one yes. where Life there may be, a ch you know, like, wow. more to it than just bigger At number last. better. It's, it's not just like a specs game and we can compare it across architectures and it's just the exact same. And in this case as well, you never so know. You don't know that, like, these games do... Oh my gosh, my leg. Oh. That's everything in this level, though, I think. So... We just continue on, continue on my merry way, my, uh, my, uh, reign of terror. So, this, uh, level actually continues on down the road. Where we then wander our way into the chicken farm. It's just another level, really. I feel like a lot of these levels sort of blend in, but there's, there's stuff going on in each one of them. Uh, there's a bone in there. Oh, simply the best. My neck, ugh. Uh, how many boats we got in this level? Uh, another eight bones. It, it, I mean, there's 120, oh my gosh, there's another one up here. There's 125 bones in total. Um, and even though I said there's like 18 levels, uh, maybe think of it more like 15 or something. But even then it's like, mm, I think there's less than eight bones in various levels. We'll see. 
So, um, so yeah, so, the, so, what they've seen may not necessarily be, you know, oh, it's the cache talking. It may be quite a bunch of things. It could actually be, like, just, uh, like, different process of bidding, even if they did see a, you know, i5 was always worse than the i7. Like, even though they did see that, um... I'm not sure if it's fully explained by just its cache. Uh, also, some people said maybe thermal velocity boost is, is on, in which case the uh, i9 would do slightly better. I don't think it's on, just because if they set the ring bus to 3 gigahertz, I think they probably would have noticed that it was on, and it's off by default, on uh, gigabyte boards, which I think they used one, so. And also, given that they've been, like, going on about how power is like such a problem and uh, which i mean granted high power is always not ideal but all the intel instability is not because of high power it's because of like current fluctuation and overcurrent Three, two, kind of going one. this is another tag wow. game can we catch up to this guy the answer is uh oh, maybe i'm apparently dizzy all of a sudden oh no Come on, man. There you go. Oh, time to do a handstand. And well, now I play as him. Weird. I can't even see my nose. So what do you do here? I'm pretty sure this is like... I don't even describe this that well. But like, you go into this one particular place. You grab the piece of paper, and I think either you show it to this guy or you show it to Jake. I forgot. I even grab it? Oh, he's got a gun as well, by the way. I think this game was rated G for some reason. Oh, I must have eaten it. Uh. We'll figure this one out. <laughs> But at least you can just talk to him again after you've done the challenge. You don't have to play tag with him again. So at least it's that. Uh, so anyway, so... Uh, I think one of the, the most contentious parts, though, is setting the ring bus to the slower speed. For reference, 3 gigahertz is way less than the default 4.7. And I, I, I've got, like bunch of mates who do like overclocking and stuff and they're just like yeah like the ring bus doesn't get hot God. so you can totally just turn it up it's perfectly fine and the ring bus is sort of responsible is, is partially responsible for all the memory access Whoa, to the processors die. including the cache performance which means processors with less cache what would Anna generally Roma. need more memory access time and improving the the ring bus clock Whoa, would dramatically, that's, that's you know, improve the performance of, you know, memory sensitive mm. loads, i.e. when the cache is lower. I'm the if you set the ring Rome. bus to a lower Isn't amount, you're effectively, like, hy uh, what's the term? Hyperbolizing the uh, effect of, you know, not having memory. Or not having cache fed. Like, that's it. So, you're going to see a much you know, more dramatic result because of that. Now, it doesn't mean that, you know, like, the, the, the use of cache, sorry, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that, oh, it does, it's got enough cache because I just had the ring bus turned down. It's more that, like, you're not going to see 5% frames a second difference. You're going to start to see, like, 2%. And 2% starts to get into the whole, well, is it really, really that worth it? Um, and on top of that as well, like, you know, in, in reality, you know, the 7800X3D and the 5800X3D and, and, the, and all the other ones with 3D Vcache, they compromise in a couple of ways. One is the voltages can't be as high and uh, the current can't be as high. And uh, that just means, hey, lower power. That is fine when it performs better. When it doesn't perform as good, that's the trade-off. Oh, um, great. So adding more cache you know, may, maybe you can fit more cache. Like, maybe it's just on the new dies. It's like, oh yeah, we can fit like twice as much. Let's just do it. That's all cool. That's fine. Oh, oh my gosh, bees everywhere. Have you see those pictures of the dogs that ate a bee? Me again, my friend. It's tragic, I tell ya. 
Gosh, I had a bone and they have like so much poop up here as well. It's all poops me, I don't know why. Mm, delicious. Um But yeah, like like the dramatic numbers that they mm, saw. Delicious. I don't know if it's necessarily like real. They might be like, oh, you know, I did this testing, but it's like, legitimately, it's like, it does, the question is, does it matter? Should they do it? And to some degree, I would go, well, maybe, but ultimately, at the end of the day, it shouldn't matter how much caches on the processors. It matters how well the processor does. And if caches, you know, the, you know, the, like, the reason why, then sure, they should pursue that, you know, in the next chips. But when the chips do well anyways. Like, it's not like they're behind in terms of gaming. Sometimes it's behind, sometimes it's in front. It's a trade-off, okay, sure. But like, it's not like, oh, their the failures and, you know, like, what they've designed is working fine. I wouldn't exactly want to just introduce compromises just to add cache because, you know, doesn't necessarily mean the processes are better in, you know, in games? Maybe? Who knows? I don't know. They didn't test, like, what an Intel processor with more cache would do with zero compromises. They just tested that, like, these existing processors, when you control for some things, but maybe not everything, and you set it some, like, exaggerated scenario, it shows a difference. That's really all it is. Um, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't mean that, like, what they found is, like, not real, but I think it's, again, my, my typical complaint. I don't think their conclusion is right at all. I just I just think that like they've done a bunch of testing for something and they believe that it just means one thing when really I don't think it's that. It's just uh, I think they're just showing that like yes when you make some differences then you'll see a different outcome I guess. Or maybe not it depends. You have to be looking for it and then also when you were looking for it have you just created the issue? Have you just created the scenario that, like, clearly Simply no one, you know, is gonna experience? I don't know, but... Yeah. Again, I don't know, it's just, it's just my opinion, but, like... Man, they, they continue to sort of put themselves into this, like, kind of... Kind of camp, because they keep, like... I don't know, they keep making these videos that... It's not that it's like, oh, you make Intel look bad, therefore, you know, you're an mm -hmm. AMD show. It's oh, not necessarily no. that, but it's that oh, yes. they're not like doing good. their due diligence. Bones, my favorite. In being, well, sorry, they're not just, they're not being correct. That's really all it is. It doesn't mean anything that deep. Um, but it's just they've made a video out, and uh, it doesn't really. It's not right. It's just what? it's just wrong. Alright, let's follow this guy, because that's the only- that's the only thing we're missing now. Oh wait, no, that's the fox. It's just pooping all over the place again. Where's this guy? Hello. So, 50 seconds. I remember this one being, like, kind of mean. I think I'll sit this one out. This is one. I swear it was like you go up to the sky. Hi, yes. I would love to jump over that fence, but I guess not. Hello, hi. I have a piece of paper. Hey, dog. Stay alert for foxes. I see the basket there as well, so I'm like, hmm. Hey, where's that dog gone? Did I just walk into him? Is that it? That's all I needed to do? Just walk into him? He then hides in a hole? Zippity doo dah. I've been after that bushy tailed bandit since my foxhound just up and disappeared. Take this bone, my friend. You earned it. 
Did you hear about the dog nappings around here, fella? I did. Uh, there was even an article in the local paper, but I tore it up to use as bedding for my chicken. Can you find it? Oh, wow, a prompt. Now I think I can finally do this. Alright, here we go. Okay, so now I think you go in. Maybe I've already done progress on these because I've picked up like one piece. 56, uh, 50 seconds seems a little. I don't, I don't even know, man. Just did it, I guess. Yep. Says here Clarksville dog napping epidemic spreads to Lake Mini Wawa Ski Resort. That's where those creeps took Oh days. my gosh, it's just this keeps skunk farted. Oh. Reckon you might need it. I appreciate this guy is very, very talkative to dogs, like everyone gimme, in this gimme, game. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, there is a bone somewhere that I was just missing. Oh, it's just, he it was just standing on it, I guess. I oh, my neck. A lot. <laughs> so I think we're good, though. I wish there was an actual indicator in-game telling you how many bones you, like needed per level because this this first level's got nine there's not really an indicator saying that so uh yeah other than that i think we're done with this level we can move on to uh well the, the, the kind of walk back because we gotta go back to that fork and then uh keep going it's not too bad though the loading screens aren't that bad uh, so, I don't know. Uh, do I just rip on hard run blocks all the time? Maybe, but... They really gotta, they really gotta up, their ga uh, up their game when it comes to, like, a good conclusion. I feel like when they riff on things, um, like, in their podcast and stuff, that's when I appreciate them the most. Because they've got, like, opinions and they do testing and stuff, and that's all good. But when it's, like, uh, some kind of technical analysis, I, I don't really feel like I ever get that much out of them. I'm not sure if their, like, numbers are quite, well, I don't know, like, it just feels like their conclusions are just, doesn't quite line up with my experience. Or they say that apparently the Intel processors are absolutely foobar when it's just, like, just literally turn on current protection. Hey, boy. Our friend Mary Jane has been grounded by her mom. She's it's not even mom. like, oh, like... You know, wow, these, these processes, Human like... parents make me want to barf sometimes. You know, oh, they, they run them without all the limits to make them look better. It's like, really I would doubt up. Intel is, Plus, like, breaking the their own spec. When not? it comes to their More first party benchmarks. Me. Might come in handy on the way to Lake, uh, whatever it's called. Can we use this? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is just the newspaper prop again. Right. Twelve violets gets me a bone. Go, go, go. Violets are like uh, the blues, but they're all visible, I guess. But man, they look a lot like the pinks, don't they? Great camera angle, by the way. Love it. Very, very love it. So, so anyway, one last topic I would like to talk about today is uh, the um. Has anyone seen the memes of uh, the Google AI basically giving the worst responses because it found some weird results on various websites? Uh, you know, some some are fake. Some are just comment boards, and it just has no idea how to read context. Some are uh, just the onion, and they're intentionally meant to be, like, just stupid and funny. Um, whatever the case, uh, there's, there's quite a good number of examples. Um, for example, like, I think there was one I saw which was, like, how to cure depression. And, uh, it said, like, just jump off the, the Golden Gate Bridge. It's like, oh my gosh. Get that stupid dog away from me. I believe, uh... Oh, I think you actually have to leave. Oh, no way she can read this from here. Better take it inside. 
Well, I'll just throw that piece of paper and we'll pick it up later. You know how this is gonna go. Look at this very, very clean, clean-shaven dog. If only there was some way that I could harness his energy. So again, this level's not that bad. It's like neighborhood and it's like eight houses. And you got like a greenhouse right here for some reason. How do I get into the, the greenhouse? Time to mash circle. Um, but yeah, the Google AI is uh, absolutely like hilarious, I guess, if you don't take your Google search results seriously. Um, but obviously, it speaks to a wider issue of, you know, are we at the right time to generally introduce AI to the world? Um, I think my my short answer is no. I think there's definitely places where you can like, you know, use AI for personal use or um, there's some places where it's like, hey, you know, like I I've, I've done, you know, like uh, some machine learning and and um, you know, like I've trained a model that's good at finding certain things and you might actually have very good luck and, you know, for example, finding stable uh, lattices or compounds or like or, you know, ways to like wow, synthesize crystals or something young. i think i remember cool seeing uh that was like a pretty good success story uh this uh you use this guy to get this bone but also this guy actually has like two uses so let's eat this bone Bones, i know man. right two uses for the dog oh. because uh, this guy is also a clean dog he's not stinky like jake is apparently who lives on a farm ew farm boys farm dogs but, uh, take this letter, and he can, uh... Well, he can't really jump, can he? But he can come around here and actually get invited oh, inside. come on, give me a break. My little schnooky wookie. Does baby want his din -dins? His little dindy windies Oh, come on. I'm glad we've got the POV shot right there. Schnooky, oh, my eyes! Am I glad to see you? I'm going nuts in here. Don't hey, you have, like, gives? Xbox? Dear Mary Jane. Wow, this is so cool. You're a smart puppy, Schnooky. Here, have this bone. Have this bone. It should drop it on the floor instead of just feeding it. Except he's my slave. I have commanded oh, him to oh, give it to me. Uh, but oh, yeah, I yeah. I, th I think there's definitely, the like, some use cases. Morning. But... Uh, by the way, just, wow. you know, bone in the trash again. Last. 36, oh my gosh. <laughs> For reference, out of 125, we're nearly at like a third. We're doing the whole world, there's three worlds in this game, so... <laughs> I think that's a good way to pace it out. Um... I could probably, like, cram it in, like, two streams, but, eh, uh, nah, we'll, we'll take it nice and chill. I've done, like, so many longer ones. We need to just have some, like, shorter and more casual streams. Also, there's this guy. Hi there, Mr. Oh, Man. No. I, I can't deliver the mail. That terrier is a psycho dog. What am I gonna do? Thank you, guy on a moped. I'm in a oh! Hurry. What happened there? You think this is funny. Can I do that again? Oh, my gosh! Come on, give oh! me a break. <laughs> Oh, uh, you got some nerve, dog. Because I love how his handlebars are like I've completely destroyed oh, come on. his moped. It's like it's just all exploded in like weird, weird angles. I'm in a hurry. I, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> you got some nerve, dog. Can I deal with this guy as well? I suppose you think this is funny. Probably not, because that guy was on like a slope. Still, his handlebars are... Oh, they are connected. Dog. Oh, that's so weird. That was very weird. <laughs> this is boy. the only point Don't in the game where rash. you can you can trigger this uh, little guy to follow you. Uh, also, very important, I'm very certain. Yep, they put one singular sense in here. Then you tell this dog to stay. And then you can. Oh. Yeah, I guess that kind of works. 
thanks. Now to deliver the mail. Oh, what's this? Win a free trip. Hey, this is about to terrorize you again. Ski resort. Oh, and uh, here's your reward. He's about to eat your shoes. Mini Wawa. That's where they took Daisy. POV mailbox. Okay, well, oh, yes. <laughs> I got a bone, so it's okay in the end. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Like, is, are these language models? And uh, that's a, that's the curious part as well. Again, most of them are just language models. And my leg again. Most of them are just language models. Most of them are geared towards doing like one thing in particular, which is knowing what words make sense next to other words. But they're actually not smart enough to know, like, actual concepts or, or things like that. At least, at least these language models. Enough training gives them a good idea of how to actually just pretend to be a, a real thing just like markov chains you know if engineered correctly could sort of do that anyways um again uh, not not like understating or overstating the you know machine learning is a very very complex uh kind of thing well, it's actually like decently straightforward but it's like it's so applicable to lots of things in the sense of you can um effectively implement machine I learning in lots of don't I make any Go. sudden moves I'm doing a race bro I'm doing a race you gotta let me do my race uh I love that as well this little fence gap oh I love these sounds as well <laughs> I mean they're probably Doggy want a cracker? I do not. Are you trying to insult me? I do not know what's up with the parrot. Nope, I nearly got baited. Oh baby, how sweet! Uh, but certainly, like, there's a. They will get better over time. These AIs, I guess. But the question is, are they good enough that I would let the general public use them now? No, because this keeps happening. Like. They've clearly not done filtering or training in the right way. They, these are language models that have learned a bunch of wonderful words, and when you ask them certain questions, it suddenly might invoke, you know, this Onion article out of nowhere. Um, if this was just for, like, chatting or, like, saying random stuff... Yeah, you know, it's proper sentences. It's definitely that, but... Yeah, like, is it the correct Google search? Not really. The, the probably someone from Google will probably go like, oh, you know, like you know, we added lots of context-sensitive uh, kinds of features to it. And I'm like, yeah, I, mm, did it really work out though? It, like, it, is it, did that actually work out enough? I don't know. I don't think it did. Hey, see this parrot? And it's green as well. You just have to like know that, like, if it's. If it's on an object, this bird watches too many cable TV repeats. If the color is just like on some actual like object around, most of the time it's actually just irrelevant. That's one. That's one thing that just gets very annoying about the design of this game. It's very hard to know what's actually you know something you're meant to sniff and what's it's just just there. And yes, you can indeed jump on these roofs. We will then find not really anything on the roofs. But it's kind of fun that you can jump up here. Can I jump up to this far roof? Heck yeah. Do -do 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 -do. But yeah, certainly, uh, like, I mean, I, I think Google has said, hey, we're going to respond to, you know, the complaints that basically this AI is giving people some terrible, very, very terrible advice. Um, but to that I'd also mm, go, hey, you know, I'm maybe bro. I just want a web search to be a search of the web. Oh, I type yes. a thing and I kind of just want to, like, good. see, like, Bo, things that you think are as close as possible to that. Instead, it's trying to be a bit too smart and then try to interpret your words and I think that's a certain other kind of, you know, aspect, I guess. Uh, oh, hi there. Rock-a-bye baby in the treetop When the wind blows I don't know if you're singing to me or the baby. Rock. No wonder the kid's crying. 
That is one scary song. Oh, Brittany, if only I knew where you dropped your doll. What a wimp. You don't see puppies crying. Ah, oh, well, better look for that doll. I sure hope that baby didn't drop it down the well. Why doesn't that kid just, like, go up to this, like, person anyways? Uh, okay, where was the doll? Did you see a doll anywhere? Mm. Mm. I'm glad. I'm surprised I haven't actually eaten anything bad that's been lying around. Oh, I remember where the doll was. It was in this tunnel. I don't know how on earth you, Look, like... Brittany! Doggy Woggy's found your dolly Wally. Can you toss it up to my baby? Just yeet! <laughs> Thank you so much. Our dog used to do that before she disappeared. Disappeared? So bum, bum, what's bum. going on here? Here's your award. And if you can solve the mystery of our missing dog, I'd be so grateful. What a what a weak throw, oh, bro. Horrific. Bro, hold on. Is was there even a baby in there? Why have you got your baby next to the well? Is that like a proper well as well? Uh sort of. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well that's everything in this level. I think. Oh, wait, no, I'm missing one thing, aren't I? 42. Is that is that the right number? I think there's the name of this oh there's nine in this level okay hold on so we got we got nine in the first level i mean i should be able to see wait no yeah yeah we're good we're good we're good i've done nine game gaslighting me thinking me i've missed stuff all right well in that case we've only got one more level of the hub to the town center in this direction. I I love how that preview was just completely off. I don't really have too much to say about the AI thing other than just like it just kinda happened. It's very odd and hilarious, but also Odd and tragic, and uh, yeah, I sort of long for the days when like a Google search just actually gave me like good useful results. I feel like there's lots of like elements it's throwing in and skewing of the results and got more you know, in, in ways guy. it thinks Time it's helpful, but I'm just fun. like, man, I, this Three, just takes longer to two, find things. One, there's always the classic go. of just like the number of times people add the word Reddit to their searches because it gives actual like user, like, you know, generated content and not, you know, ads or pages that just cheese SEO or um, things that aren't ads but effectively are like they didn't pay for Google dogs. search scram you before I get my gun oh baby, my gun how sweet it is what is it with people and shooting dogs these I days can't believe it It's so weird how many, like, blind corners are in that race. Oh! <laughs> Roundhouse kicked the Rottweiler yeah, in the face. Wheel dog moves. Smart guy. Take this guy into the shopping mall and, uh... Oh my gosh, please don't hurt me, you terrible beast! Here, take this bone! Yeet! I'm pretty sure this is shoplifting. I'm very certain it was, but okay. Jake loves bones. Hi there. Hey guy, want to join our posse? What happened Bring to your us teeth? Some eggs. Yeah, then we can have a little eggs excitement with Mr. Grumpy over there. Kids Get talk lots like of this. Eggs and you can sneak into a store for a quick snack. Oh, this is the guy who would have shot me. Try to squeeze past him. It don't work. It don't do it. Done. 
But yeah, I, I don't know. I still feel like we're, we're a, a fair bit out, even, you know, when the, uh, the rumored artificial general intelligence is uh, finally released. We finally have uh, some sort of, you know, AI model that's just like, hey, I actually like respond to things and I can, like, like here's just a classic. It's like when you have an AI model and it can, like, answer, like, maths questions or something like that. You think maybe, I don't know, on the computer, run the maths question in my head? Or ru run the maths question to, like, confirm that it was real? Because there's a lot of, like, AIs that just have no idea how to self-verify things. It just says it, and it's like, yep, that's it. Take it or leave it. It's like, uh... Gosh, this one's kind of annoying, because it's like... Scents don't appear unless you're like close enough. Just give it another crack, I guess. Was it the purple one or the other one where uh, you don't see all of them? You only see like one at a time, so it's effectively a race. Oh, I think I remember where this one was. It was like. At the entrance, wasn't it? No. Where was it? Do I remember where it is, or am I just like, am I tweaking? I'm just like, one yeah, okay, no, it's just very faint in that corner. It's just mean. It's just mean. Uh, how many bones are in this level? I think there's seven. So we should be able to set ourselves at the uh, wonderful number of 49 by the end of the stream. Ah, essence of dead rat. So I think just before the stream uh, next week, uh, NVIDIA is going to do their talk. So. <laughs> You know me, I'm going to be talking about NVIDIA GPUs, or at least what they look like on paper. And, uh, whether this is good or bad. There's probably not too much to say when it's just, like, specs, because it's just, again, what really matters is the real-world performance, the, the use cases that you personally are going to use as well. Like, it doesn't matter that, like, oh, you know, like, this, this card does like so well at like this one game because it's like do you ever run that game at that in that way uh, I always note Factorio benchmarks are like that it's like like most processors are good enough to play Factorio because you only ever run Factorio at the same speed oh this is fun as well there's a um uh, a dog wash I'm a dirty dog Daisy wouldn't like it and then a bunch of terrifying things come out of nowhere. <laughs> Clean as a whistle. But it actually cleans you. It's like, oh my gosh. It'll promptly go away in like three minutes though. You'll <laughs> sort of just build up filth again. Also, I love uh, this thing as well. If you want a lemon soda, just press the button. There you go, there's a lemon soda. There you go, there's a lemon soda. Oh, my neck! My neck! <laughs> Flavorsome. Hold on, I want to do that one more time. Oh no, I spawned too many. Ah, that was tremendous. That was a tremendous like neck break right there. I love this as well. You just walk into that. That's where the, this is where the chicken lives. And there's a bone back here. Who could live without him? Uh, oh, I, I guess mm, not the boy. chicken anymore. Now that's what Jake calls stinky. And another diggable bone. So, yeah, we'll see how, how this well, goes. Um, I think the other conferences would be after the stream, or during the stream, I think, actually. So, um, I uh, won't be able to opine on those ones, but maybe particularly NVIDIA. Um, my predictions, I mean, the, the the general predictions are more just like, hey, you know, what are the rumors saying? And I think the easy rumor is, uh, the, um, they're definitely going to announce a, a 50, oh, I think he barked at him, and then he, like, poops an egg. Yeah, yeah. 
And then you have to somehow take your egg and like perfectly throw it into your basket. Because otherwise that. There you go, so, okay. Take another go. Ooh. There you go. I think he makes a comment that you've gotten enough. But it's like, yeah, what a, what a weird, like, yep. Oh, good throw, good throw. What a weird, you know, thing you gotta do. You just be pooping eggs, I guess. Oh, good throw, good throw. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, so the big rumors is probably that, you know, they're gonna announce a 5080 and probably a 5090 at the same time for a later release. Um, maybe you may get a 5070 announcement, but maybe not. We might not see it. It's kind of early as well. Like, it feels like, you know, announcing it now makes sense, but it's also, you know, pro probably a, quite a number of months before release. I think this would be easier to just like bring the basket to the eggs, but no. Okay. Come on, come on, you gotta pop the egg in. Just like this, just, just. Whoa, I'm amazed that one worked. There you go, not a throw, not a throw. Uh, I'm also very curious about if uh, Nvidia's got other kinds of things that, you know, maybe like regular people can afford. I actually, I do like the, the Quadros. I think um, if it wasn't for the price, the, um, the SS set, Sorry, the SFF 4000 is like a really like superb kind of item. Um, but yeah, the, the price is kind of gnarly on that one. It's like close to 2000 Australian. You could just buy like a 4080 for, well, less than that and be okay. Right, come on, last egg. You got this. You got this last egg. Just drop it in that basket. Oh. I guess I've already got six, so... Yeet! Oh, camera. Camera! Way what? to go! Now that he's busy getting an egg bath, you can sneak past him. Well, he's not... he's not busy yet. Also, this is, uh... Oh! You kids today make me sick. Why would you do this to this poor guy just because he said he was going to shoot you a dog? You little whippersnappers, I'll tan your backsides. Oh, and now he's about to, like, beat kids. Hey! Is this game rated G? Here. Dog catcher! Oh, uh, this also sometimes happens. Oh, this, this guy's cold, dead eyes make me sick so you're meant to run away from the dog and at some point it says you did it like it's just time based I have no idea where this guy is oh there he is hi um but it's just like a handful of levels where this, this happens it's no good he's too fast I can't be bothered with this uh, if you lose by the way he actually they steal a dog bone and they leave it, like, they, I think they either put it, like, somewhere or bury it, uh, underground in this level. So you just gotta find it again, but it's like, yeah, it's a little bit of an inconvenience if you're, um, you know, if you're collecting all of these, because it's just like, yep, that, that bone's gone. Nice. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, no, it's not as bad at that time. Oh, I ate something bad. That means he's low health and he poops. That's not me pressing anything. That's just him doing it. 
What a wonderful feature of the game. All right. Bones, my favorite. I think this is it, actually. Oh, that was that was it, right? Mm, six bones. A bone. Yeah, that was it. Six bones. Wow. Obviously, you got to climb up the building. You, you, you play this game, you wouldn't climb up the building. It kind of goes up a bit, but. Not sure. Is this really necessary? It is very necessary, man. That's better. We got lamb shank on the ceiling, and now I'm gonna let this dog jump off a building. And he's okay. He's okay. We got crazy taxi here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very shiny as well. Um, but other than that, I think we're. Oh, I haven't done the orange yet. Uh, I don't know if you wonder, like, okie dokie. Now we'll see who's top dog around here. I think actually, yeah, yeah, you got to challenge him to a duel or something. I don't know. Actually, did you have to challenge? Him? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, me a few months ago when I played this, just just to remind myself. So for reference. For reference, me as a kid, I never actually got anywhere far in this game. I sort of got incredibly bored with just like, oh, you know, like I'm just picking up like scents and I'm just wandering around not knowing what I'm doing. Um, well, well, sort of knowing what I'm doing, but I'm just like, eh, you know, like what's actually like the challenge? Because legitimately, does anything kill the character? No, not really. Yeah, I had like a tug of war. I've got more bones than this guy. I had a tug of war I hadn't done. Fun. Whoops. Three, two, one, go. It's the only thing I hadn't done. Look at that, the music's getting... Look at, look at the music. There you go, I'm happy chappy. Time for one last bone, there you go. But yeah, like, I had certainly never gotten to the second world, which... There's only three worlds in the game, so it's not like tons long, but definitely like there was a part of me as a kid, and I was just like, I don't know what actually is really motivating me to keep playing it. So I had never really played it, and then I played it again just actually in full uh, only a few months ago. Once you wander here, by the way, uh, you'll uh, just progress into the next world. He just jumps on a train, the train immediately leaves, they don't check your ticket. And uh, we're on our way over to the the long yonder place of uh, a cutscene. Oh my gosh. It was a cutscene the whole time. Would you care for a tissue, Wayne? Oh, mind your own beeswax, Dwayne. Every oh my god, my ears. Dwayne? Every time I hear Wayne, well, I think fountains of Wayne. Did you collect some nice clean Clarksville dogs? Uh, yes, Miss Peaches. What about some nice clean mountain dogs from up at Lake Minnewawa? Uh, not yet, Miss Peaches. Oh, fiddlesticks! Can't I trust you idiots to do anything? Uh, sorry, Miss Peaches. Do you know what happens to yes, idiots Andre. who yes, disappoint Yes, Andre. Yes, Andre. Do you uh, say anything else? Yes, Miss Peaches. Uh, Wayne. What? That was Miss Peaches. She says, why aren't we in Lake Minnewawa? Because, Dwayne, you are useless at reading roadmaps! Hang on! I'm... <clears throat> Wait! Look! At last! That sign was not there, by the way. <laughs> uh, and yeah, uh, casually, um, snow land. Don't worry, this dog is built for snow. It's built for everything, apparently. <laughs> also, there are some crazy driving going on in the corner there, I tell ya. But, the last train pulls into the station. No one gets on, and no one gets off. 
So anyway, let's uh, run up to the kennel where we shall actually save the game. And uh, let's experience all of this uh, this level in its, in its uh, glory, as well as the entire uh, world. Uh, and all of its glory on the next uh, stream. Oh my god. Yeah, this save is like... You're nothing but rats with wings. Oh my gosh, thanks bro for saying that. It's very hard to see, but there's like some some kind of particle effect over him. Um, yeah, so anyway, so that's that's the stream. We've experienced all the Clarksville levels, the, uh, <laughs> you know, the farmhouse, the water mill with the scientist and the axe guy and the big field, and the houses and the center and the chicken farm, which is for some reason all the way about <laughs> the size of the, the scrapbook. I don't know what's up with that, but, uh, yeah, no, it's a, it's a somewhat interesting game and we'll continue playing more of it next week. On stream so until then i would like to thank you so very very much for watching if you enjoyed this or you didn't enjoy this uh it doesn't really matter to me or it matters to me a little bit but but so uh you can follow here on twitch where i'll stream at 8 30 p.m australian eastern uh standard time and if you're not on twitch and you're looking at youtube then uh you can also subscribe there and you see the vods and if you're not on the other platform you could see it uh i guess if you wanted to i don't know up to you um also, I say stupid stuff on my Fetty, my Pleroma. Uh, just check out m.bandow.com. That's a cool place. It's always in the description, so you'll always see it. Um, but yeah, no, uh, uh, don't let Google AI throw you off, by the way. Don't, don't, well, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's a bit weird, so. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've been rambling about things that are silly. Who knows? Anyway, take care. See you all next week. Uh, don't stay up too late. Eat your greens. Um, wash your dog if you have one. Don't feed him trash pizza. Uh, don't feed him car batteries. Uh, definitely don't let him eat like eggs all the time. Uh, and certainly, do not accept axe from uh, axes from stranger dogs. That's a bit weird. So, anyways, see you all. Peace.